Hey there guys, I'm Dengs564 and this is continuation of our let's play of Adam RPG. What were you talking there about Lenin, by the way? A man around 50s with um, matted grey hair, wearing a dusty suit, looks like... looks at you with a sad smile and a dozen gazes you come closer. He holds out a soft, although a bit shaky hand for you to, say, uh, to shake and do it without even thinking. Um... It's a good day today, my friend. My speech has finally touched someone's heart. I'm Svetoslav Garnievich, the uh, oppositionist, the front of true, uh, truth and democracy. How may I shift the the lead fog that covers your brain today? Who do you oppose exactly? The man points to the Chamber of Commerce building with theatrical gesture. Who else is, uh, would I oppose with my work? Only those un uneducated little tyrants that um, of the blood and sweat of us working people. Those communist vampires are calling themselves Chamber of Commerce, but in reality they are nothing but puppets of in the hands of Adam. Uh, what did Chamber of Commer Commerce ever do to you? What? What Chamber of Commerce is the continuation of regressive Soviet regime? Uh, I think you guys guys might want to talk to each other. <laughs> that punishes me by making me anti... Uh, me take anti-psychotics. And even now hunts all those who dare say the truth. My god, why just yesterday one of the crooked militiamen of this city came over to me and said if your crazy ramblings were not as pathetic would already jail you. So how close I am to being imprisoned, young lady? Rather civilized country has such a regime. Isn't Chamber, Chamber of Commerce denying the existence of, of Adam? The man touches his ear. I don't have patience to hear such silly assumptions. Can't you see that this is just a cover-up? Sure, they didn't deny Adam exists, but they serve it anyway. Chamber of Commerce is dirty, brown stain on the underpants of history. And that Adam is a remnant of their KGB overlords. So what's their t alternative to, to Chamber of Commerce? The man thinks hard. Well, um, first off, I want to make this uh, this law that allows you to say anything you want in the city of Krasnoznamionny. Freedom of sp speech. That's it. Yeah. And also, I want to make everyone say they are sorry for the crimes of Stalin regime. And I want monetary compensation for being a martyr of, for freedom. For all those years they held me in the mental institution. Mm, f freedom of speech. I don't understand what it means, so uh, let's change the topic. You know, that's just some crazy talk. Let's go and <laughs> give our. give us. Uh, give away the lymph nodes. You there. Uh, I've bought what you asked. Here, take it. Dum dump the slimy arcnet lymph nodes to Zenita Petrovna's table instead of getting angry. The doctor throws her hands up in the air with joy and neatly puts the lymph nodes into a wash bowl under the table. Excellent. Here, here they are, my beloved. All right, please come back in three days. I'll give you the first medicine batch to to try. Um, what can we buy? This is not a pharmacy, we don't sell medicine just like that, but I might have something we don't need anymore. Show me what you got. Okay, good to know what you have. Good luck. Now let's go into the mushroom clan. Uh, uh, mushroom clan. Mushroom cult. And see what they can, can tell us. Hey, where the hell are you? You there. Artyom is busy with something very important. You don't quite understand what I it is, but you have no doubt it's extremely serious. As he sees you, he smiles politely and bends over to you. Well, well, how's the search for the water filter going? Here's the filter. 
No way, you f uh, you found the filter? Great, give it to me. Um, sure. We need we need him like cooperating with us. Here's the filter. Artyom takes the filter from your hands and ex examines it carefully. Then, with a happy smile, he puts a useful tool in a conspicuous drawer in the wall. Uh, did I get anything for it? Wonderful, you can't even imagine how much you've just helped mankind. If we start producing th these tools, life will get so much easier for all people. What will I get for this? A very useful bonus. Our merchant will give you a discount. He he's here, in this very building. And what do you want me to do? Artyom twists his moustache and lapses into thought. Access will be much harder, both from moral point of view and the skills you'll need to complete it. I'll start from the beginning. It's a very sensitive issue. You've had enough time to see that uh, mycelium is not is of no danger to anyone. It's plotting against it's not is isn't plotting against anyone, isn't in anyone's way. You do understand that, don't you? I see uh, I see that in your eyes you do. Otherwise you would have left long ago. No one no one's keeping you here against your will. So yeah, despite our total non vasive attitude, we have enemies. Tom clenches his fists and turns away slightly to hide contempt, contempt in his face. Um, let's just hear him out. There are enemies of progress, villains and heretics who believe in their sa it is in it their sacred duty to put spokes in our in our wills when they when they have a chance in every project, every social initiative. We're scientists, not gangsters, so we chose to ignore those pathetic, narrow-minded people. But some of them are hard to ignore. Take Vadim uh, Nikodimovich Pavli uh, Pavliuk, pa ah, Pavluk, an important merchant, for example. At every governmental meeting, he does his best to upset our plans. He urges to vote for yet another inspection of our society, or to close us down altogether, or to. He recognized us as a terrorist group. He has a vivid imagination, albeit a bit lopsided. And it makes him very dangerous for us and for inner people we're st uh, striving to help. Stop beating around the bush. No, no, uh, he should be made to see reason, to think about his uh, signing. I, I'm not talking about killing or m mangling his mind. This is what terrorists and gangsters would do. We just want to send him a message. In his chamber below the chamber of uh, Thomas Vladimir Nikodimovich keeps a pet pig. Apparently he values pig's life far more than the lives of wastelanders on the, or, or science. Finish this ridiculous pet and leave a note at the, uh, the corpse. The rest doesn't depend on us, it depends on the comrade P Pavluk's common sense. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're being... <laughs> we're going full godfather here. Uh... So you want me to kill the piglet? Well, the task is a bit unconventional, I'll grant you that, but you have to admit it's better than killing a man. Why does he keep a pig as a pet? I know, but uh, but apparently he's attached to the animal. Still, I think not so much to place the pet's life above his own. You have connections in the Chamber of Commerce bunker? His eyes flash mischievously. We have connections in many places. Okay, we'll do it. Now go to the bunker, find the porker, and well, you know, the rest. Here's the note. Uh, he gives you a note, you will have to place the, at the corpse of a pig that hasn't done anything to deserve such a terrible end. <laughs> I see, okay, I'd better go then. What sort of note is that? Just so that we strange me memo? No, no, that's not it. Warning note. Where the hell is the warning note? Oh, there it is. The biggest simple warning. Any enemies of progress will meet such demise. But think about it, your friends. Which one is the traitor? 
Who the hell are you, by the way? Let's actually talk to people inside here. This is probably the trader. Hmm. Doesn't have much. And who the hell are you? High priestess of some sort? For you stands a well-dressed young woman as she sees you, she smiles and turns to you. Sir, I'm busy. Talk to core workers. Okay. Well, let's go and kill the pig, I guess. I wonder, do I need to use, like... What kind of weapons do I need to use? Do I need to just use... Melee weapons? I guess we'll need to persuade him to get out of the... How about we close that door? Middle-aged man walks around the room with annoyed... Yeah, yeah. What's Pig doing there? I'm sorry, is this any of your business? If it is here, that's where we, it should be. Is that clear? Is our conversation over? Then please do me a favor and leave my apartment before I call the guards. What's your name? Uh, Frizz give you a long suspicious look, then he replies without taking his eyes off you. Pavluk, uh, Vad Vad I guess Vadim. Nikodimovich, why are you asking? Oh, so you're the one I'm looking for. The Secretary General wants, you, wants to talk to you. Are you serious? Couldn't he have sent someone I know? Anyway, I got you. I'll go see him immediately. Well? Let's close the door. Oh. Do I need to, like, actually... Okay. Do I take the meat? Sure, let's take the meat. Because we're actually probably running a bit low on food. Lower than I actually would like. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's get out of here before he returns. Just in case. There it is. The pig is dead. Yep, we need to return. Uh, so, have you managed to leave our message? Yep, that's why I'm here. Pig is dead, notes, de notes read. The man shows you a thumbs up and smiles. You're a real hero. Sad that we had to stoop to s stoop so low and make someone ass assassinate an animal, but Vadim Nikodimovich did not le uh, leave us any choice in the matter. Now, when the deed is done, he's sure to think over his re uh, retrograde policy again. Yeah, so how about my payment? Sure. Uh, I believe 500 should be enough. And some 5 medkits. Okay. Maybe a little more? 200, two more medkits. Thank you very much. That's a lot of medkits. We had a long th we had a long thinking, decided that some treacherous spy would never work so hard for our cause. So you actually risk life and limb. Precisely, Artyom. 
That's why we did have decided to offer you more missions of a uh, rather serious nature. The man thinks about something for a while and addresses you in a very serious manner. Our, our organization is g gathering all sorts of artifacts all over the wasteland. Just like the that sad little I item society. Unlike them, we do not hide away. Plus, our goal is much more transparent. We are saving humanity. Of course you do. Some time ago, with the help of our, our secret channels, we got truly interesting objects from a secret bunker, 317. I doubt, I, I doubt you know about it. Hmm. Let's listen in silence. So, after we got the artifact, we sent two of our own expeditions to the other uh, secret bunkers. The, the, this were supposed to be simple missions, but uh, when a certain amount of time had passed and our people still did not return, we started to worry. I have a weird <laughs> sensation of deja vu. Uh, as as if I have been th in this situation before, go on, but no. Now we need someone who can follow in their footsteps and find out why haven't they returned. Yes, this will make us uh, lose all sensible of secrecy, but it is a risk we're willing to take. The results of the operation this man tried to accomplish is marked by golden mushroom in, the, in our documents, which means if something goes wrong, humanity as a whole may be in danger. Okay. Um, I understand. Where are the bunkers? Artyom, ask you to show him your map. These are the two bunkers. These two bunkers are far away from Kostanzanemony, further even than Piragon. Two weeks travel minimum. One is in the mountain pass of Wolves. The trade caravans ride through that place. These caravans usually stop in Fogelivka village, uh, of, uh, west of Kostanzanemony. You should chase a ride there. It's dangerous to come on foot as the mountains there are hard to hike through and uh, very dangerous. The arbor of the bunker is located in Dead City. There was once giant, uh, giant of industry, Emir Hasknell, resting to the southeast from us. It got bomb bombed in the way in the war, but people still live there, as far as I know. Life must be very tough out there. In the port of Cross the Mountain, you may find a captain willing to take you there. This is all that I'm allowed to tell you. Well, where exactly the two bunkers are? This must be found found out when you are on the location. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just say finding lost expedition is my special talent. Great, and remember to be really careful. Okay, yeah. So I guess the um, mountain path of woes and... Uh, a dead city are actually proper maps instead of just single locations. <coughs> okay, but first, old scrapyard, and probably I m might want to actually investigate the area here a little bit more. I probably should travel east a little bit further to find the bandit camp where the part of the shield is, right? Think that might be in order? Let's go to the scrap scrapyard first and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's a lot of medkits. I should probably start using them. Why is it, have you stopped? But we have really good equipment, I think. Like proper armor, proper helmet. There's pro there's a little bit better helmet, but hey. So where is the scrapyard you were talking about? Oh, old scrapyard right over here. Hmm. Well, okay, let's go to the old scrapyard first. 
Let's see what we can see. Let's see the corruption of capitalism with our own eyes. Yeah, let's talk our way out of it. By the way, how long... Quite far away. How is... Right, you... I probably should... I should probably just increase his... Uh, Rifles and shotguns. Yeah. Because I will not want him to actually do any automatic fire, so. Yeah, I mean, the Crimineers. What do we want to eat? You. Anything interesting? Not really. Oh, see ya. <laughs> uh, I love that. <laughs> that thing just definitely looks like some sort of 40k armor. A man in steel armor runs before you. He is armed with an old handgun and radio. He looks at you full of suspicion. Halt! Are you the com? Uh, are you the one commissar Vladilenus <laughs> told me about? That's actually probably a real name, of, like combination of Vladimir Lenin, Vladilenus. But it also sounds quite 40 k at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I'm here because of the statue of Lenin. Right, right, it, mu it must be you. So let's not get things too complicated. The mutants have their camp over yonder. The statue is also kept there. We surrounded their camp and we're ready to, we're ready to attack. Time to show this freaks that the progressive hu humanity will never accept their degeneracy and their money-grabbing attitude towards Comrade Lenin's relics. Uh, what if I sell the, everything peacefully? Well, that would be good as well, I suppose. Why don't you want to kill these bastards and take their wealth? I can see it in your eyes. We want, we want that too. <laughs> of course, because communists. <laughs> uh, where did you get so many men? They're volunteers. Commissar Vladilianus is a persuasive man, but most uh, don't even need that much convincing. Lenins are as a terror clear. The mutants are the prolification of the ugly wound. Because... Uh, cost to our walls uh, by nuclear war. People from northern villages join our ranks gladly. Uh, okay, what do we need me to do? Well, here I have three detachments. One is getting ready to storm the northern gates. The second one will blow up the wall and get inside. third one will lockpick the back door and, uh, to the scrapyard and attack the rear. Your guest expert whose duty is to Tell me which attachment should I move out first, which one second, and which one third. Just do it quickly. Um. Now yeah, what the hell? Let's just kill them all. They're mutants, right? Well, it's just you know, 40k. We should kill the mutants. Uh. So first the wall, uh, back door I'm thinking, then blow the second, then the front. My luck be on our side, yeah, well, I'll, I'll go look at the battles going on. There are a lot of them. Is that... Where the hell is he going?
Probably I could have resolved it all peacefully, but hey. If only I could actually get closer to, to the whole fighting thing, that'd be great, but I can't. And where's the main gate? That's the main gate, probably. There, that's the that's Lenin. Oh, well, okay. Let's just continue running. Where are my compatriots? Where's my dog? Where is my old man? <laughs> Mutant. <laughs> yep. They're totally mutants. Can I actually... Uh, unlikely. Like, why are they running outside of turn? Well, I'll have to actually go ahead and... Uh, and why does this guy doesn't have any gun? Judging by the... Or maybe not. No, probably not. Where is the... There is the guy, right? Where should I go? Probably over here. How are we doing here? Well, there are plenty of fighters here. Okay, let's just try to... Probably just generally move forward and then we'll... I don't know, support them from this side. things going here Chrisley These guys ran out of ammo, looks like. Our thing's looking up here. 
Well, at least these guys stick together. That's something, at least. So where should I go? Finish off these guys over here? Yeah, you know what? I think here people need me more. no guns and no or no melee weapons or anything it's just so weird oh there's a there's a dog but where's the where's my other guy Is he even... Well, he is somewhere. I'm pretty sure I can take out these guys without too much trouble. guy is just running away. Was it you? He threw something at drill bars? You bastard. You're going to die for that. Well, since he's here, I'm gonna have to kill him. I have a feeling I will have to kill them all by myself now. How are things going on this front? I think we're, we're mostly winning. We're mostly equal, so like the only critical point is uh, right over there. Two shots, two kills. 
Oh, please don't run. Oh, you said show up finally somehow? Where the hell were you all this time? Oh, look at that. There's actual proper car here. I wonder if I can actually use it. Oh, there's a guy with an F1. Uh, like he wasn't doing it in combat. Grenade bad, okay. Well, there's this commissar or whatever. He has a gun. Should probably be able to deal with him. Right? Will you even try to attack them? Dude, shoot them. Our thing is going here. Slowly. Very slowly. Oh, come on, you should definitely start shooting them. That's just a bit ridiculous that he's not aggroed on them. actually start attacking him now can I no I can obviously cannot That takes forever. It's mostly because for some reason they just don't have ammo. None of them. Would have been so much faster if they actually shot each other instead of, you know. Punch through the armor. You'd think he'd, he'd notice that, you know, they're being shot off one by one and try to actually do something about it, but no, he's still chasing that guy.
Okay, let's get tracking back. Why are you not shooting? He's just running, basically. Will you shoot now? Nope. He has ammo. He has weapon, but he just he's just not shooting. Oh, there, there, there we go. Only from the point blank range, I guess. Yeah, these guys are still <laughs> are here fighting, sorta. Just unload an automatic at him. You probably can. Everything's here. Looks like everything is resolved. No, not really. There's still this guy and here, this guy. Well, looks like this guy will finish him off. Yeah, and when he had like 4 HP, he started shooting automatically. Genius. Let's get inside. Let's see what sort of a vehicle is that. It certainly looks like a proper vehicle. This is the last guys. There's this still this one. Did he kill him? Probably. I should get a lot of experience for that, hopefully. this guy here there's this guy has almost all full hp but he's just riding away from from everyone for some reason <laughs> this guy had some sort of a fit. Who's shooting somewhere in here? Oh. Oh, I see. Well. There's still this guy, but... 
let's I guess get going over there because those two guys are a bit more dangerous I think and these guys will where are they going Well, that's this guy dead. How are you still alive? Which fighter took 8 damage? Are they fighting somewhere in here? Where is everybody? Where exactly are they fighting? In here? Oh, there, there are, there is one. Well, I don't know. Let's go kill this one. This one will probably deal with these guys because they don't have any weapons. And hopefully then I'll be able to get into non-turn-based mode and actually finish them off. around towards me I think if I move over here I'll be able to shoot him Just randomly running around. Let's just don't run inside. Bastard. There's still some fighting somewhere. Some mutants are taking damage. Oh, right over here. step over here can I shoot him through nope if I move over here guess not
Okay, then there's this guy and there's this guy. And that's it, I think. Let's try to make our way over here. Hopefully these two guys will engage and we'll be able to shoot that guy. This one is actually pretty damn good uh, fighter, melee fighter it looks like. I've been knocking people out for quite a long while now. Really? Where? Where else is there? Anybody? There's really nobody here. Huh? Someone in here? Oh, there. Shouldn't we get, like, you know, end combat and restart it with, I don't know. Please don't run. Comrade walks over to tidily. It's all over. If only you would have helped, that it would have been over f way faster. We did it. The, and the statue of great secretary is saved. You did good, sister. The man smacks you on the shoulder. Thank you. Now get back to the commissar. I'm sure he will thank you for your work. Thousand experience. Not bad. After saying that, the man leaves you alone with your thoughts. How much ammo do I have? Not... Not as much as I would have liked. Well... There's probably a lot of loot. Probably most of that loot I will not be able to carry. But we'll see. Mostly I'm interested in 762 by 39 ammo, but I don't think they do have that. Uh, let's take the helmet. Probably we can sell it. What is this thing? Can I actually use it? Forest ends a rather rusty and grimly but still intact car. Weird, looks like an ugly grey paint hide one of the best creations of the Soviet automobile industry got some 20 Pobeda. Uh, lack of space in the garage doesn't let you see more, so first first thing you'll need to do is getting the car okay, try to move it outside. After rolling the car outside, you decide to rest for a while, looking at the Pobeda. Looked like someone worked on it for quite a while. Did they plan to turn the car into a sports car? Inspect the car. Carefully inspect Pobeda. One of the tires is flat. There is no key in the ignition. And the tank is empty as well. Um, it's not as bad as you thought, but still, 
You will have to work on this car to get this car started. Start fixing it. Um, well, kick the wheel. You kick the wheel as hard as you can, but only sharp pain get... Well, touch the wheel. Inspect the wheel and you notice the valve's uh, stem fall off out of the tire. Well, let's fix it. After embracing the course you look you took in several pre-word mobiles, you easily insert the valve system, okay? So search for the key. Glove box. Got a condom. Once more mm -hmm. central panel. Joint. Look at the floor. Search uh, in your searches. You lift up a little rug, plant it under the passenger seat. Find the key there. Now you need to place it onto ignition. Okay, uh, I do have some fuel, I believe. Let's start with one first, and let's give him some stuff that we don't need. We'll we'll need to take it away from him. Eventually Let's give him like six of those Look inside the hidden compartment from opening a hidden door, you find a few racks, three empty glass bottles, and a 10 liter can of gasoline. Huh. Pour the gas into the car. Start the engine. Press on the pedal, turn the key in the ignition, you hear the starter humming, but nothing happens. Try again. Some say second time is the charm, but... Even your next effort doesn't bear fruit, car won't start. Again, goddammit! Strange noises start coming out of the under from under the hood. Maybe it's time to stop your fruitless attempts. It will work eventually. Car decided to act like an enemy of a kim mm. Must be unlucky. That sucks. When did I save? Probably right before, right? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, will it not start? Let's just... Okay, let's just... Save here. Come on. Will it truly not start? Pop up the hood. Yo, pop up the hood, sparks shoot at your face. Seems the accelerator has seen better times. Take a look at the accelerator. Uh, attention to details re uh, really is your strong suit. You quickly notice that which wires are at fault. Fixing them will be will save the car. I'll change the wires. Ten minutes. You're finally done. The wires are exchanged. The accelerator is working like it it's supposed to. Well, start the engine. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a car. We have a car, we don't have a lot of fuel, but we have a car. Sweet. Okay, I think that's a good place to make a cut. We do actually have a car. After all that trouble in that Radna with the car, the car was always under my nose. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and goodbye.